Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be giving a full breakdown review and analysis of Season 3, Episode 7 of From. Spoiler warning, I'm going to be talking about pretty much every single scene in today's episode. So if you have not seen it, go watch it and then come back to this. And if you have not watched From, go watch it on Prime or MGM, wherever you can find it. It is awesome and 100% worth it. Now, drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's get into it. Okay, so I sort of want to go like scene by scene, but I'm going to talk about the entire Fatima storyline to start off this review. And it started off like... Okay, something's happening here. Like, Fatima seems really pissed off. She seems more angry than usual. I feel like she's about to break. And indeed, she did. So now we're going to skip to the end of the episode. As soon as Tilly walked into the garden, I was like, No! <laughs> one of the fan favorites, one of my favorite characters. Such a sweet old lady who just got over cancer. And I was like, Tilly, you are walking into something that you will regret. And indeed, she will or she you know well she's dead now so she can't regret it or anything she can't even comment on it but you know she's dead okay she walked in there and she was walking to death because fatima was breaking she was trying to resist as soon as she resists the rotten food something clicked you know her stomach just started growling or whatever she like curled up in a ball she's like oh no and then she just got angry like tilly was, tilly was just saying everyone everything's gonna be okay trying to comfort her and then she just boom turned on her and i was like no like my heart just sank but i will say this storyline of this episode was phenomenal i liked how it went zero to 100 just like that they finished it it's done we well they didn't finish it but we got an answer like that we finally got an answer with the fatima storyline seven 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 episodes into season three so i really liked how they really sped it up and it was kind of a surprise how, how fast it sped up like i thought we were just gonna see her like you know with her stomach problems or whatever and like getting more angry but she snapped this episode and i really loved how this ended up panning out now we're gonna go back to the beginning and go scene by scene but that's my overall thoughts on the biggest storyline of this episode fatima i think let let, uh, let me try to predict what's gonna happen to her real quick after thinking about it for a little bit i don't think she's gonna be put into the box i don't think they're gonna kill her but i do think the most logical decision would would be just to put her in a prison cell or like the cell in the in the police station like just lock her up somewhere in a room and don't allow her to leave, feed her, whatever, try to comfort her, try to do whatever you can, but do not allow her access to anything that could harm someone. Like, just put her in a cell. Like, don't kill her, but just, you know, put her away. That that would be my guess, but we'll see what happens. I wasn't really mad at this storyline. I, I kind of knew we weren't going to get an answer with this. Like, Jasper, you know, he's not just going to talk right after we just found him you know right after victor just found him like victor's not just gonna get him to talk the next episode i kind of expected this to drag on a little bit so and i think it's gonna be like in the finale where jasper talks or maybe next episode if it's next episode i mean come on i i'm probably most excited to see jasper talk and see what he's gonna say because that's gonna give us answers to a lot of things but i, I was kind of you know i was content with this episode seeing victor he finally got a little bit frustrated and now he's taking business into his own hands went over to sarah's place hey can i tell a story in your basement but with, just with me and jasper that's basically what happened and that's what's going to happen in hopefully next episode so i'm super excited for the storyline and i kind of like how they you know how they wrote it for this episode donna you were right she was saying like hey we need to get fatima out of the calling house i'm sorry but it's just the truth it doesn't have to be now no it had to be now donna you were right but you were a little bit too late obviously so yeah that was kind of like foreshadowing what was going to happen i didn't really catch on to that but looking back yeah they foreshadowed fatima snapping and uh you know i'm all here for it honestly hey so i have a great idea let's take this photograph that was printed off out of nowhere and let's go to the bunker that was on the photograph and then let's open four random doors and the only thing we're gonna bring is a flashlight in my camera that's a great idea elgin but in all seriousness i loved this storyline so much i just can't believe they didn't revisit it like it, it happened within the first like 25 minutes and then it, they never revisited i was waiting for the for the cut scene back to this episode and it never happened so i was kind of disappointed with that but overall i thought this was an amazing storyline like he opens four random doors and hears a knock and then of course he goes in there lifts up the cover sees a dead body turns around kimono lady so i'm assuming the dead body was the kimono lady but then he says something and what he says like literally gave me chills i was like what and he, he just told the kimono lady is this where it happens is this where what happens so that's just another question though that's another question to be answered the jasper story we're already two questions in now we're, we're one answer in with the fatima story storyline and we're two questions in so we're two to one right now 
The Jasper storyline and Elgin storyline were two questions. We're going to keep track in this in this review. But like I said, I want to make it clear. I loved this storyline and I can't wait to see an answer. I had someone comment on my TikTok saying they actually liked Acosta on this episode that she stood up for herself and said like, you know, she wants to figure it out and she's not just going to adapt and what, or whatever. I was on the total opposite of that. I hated her this episode and the fact that she got this much screen time really ticked me off. I had a cool down before I started filming this. I was like, oh my God, how did she complain to Kenny for like 10 minutes, see the radio turn on, all this stuff, and then go over to Boyd and complain for another 10 minutes and like get up in his face and everything. I couldn't believe that she got that much screen time in an episode where in my mind, we need answers. Like we're, we are three episodes away from the season finale. This is a very crucial episode and we're just seeing Acosta just get all the screen time and all, all she's doing is just complaining. She's doing what all these other play, uh, people in the, on the, in the town have already done. You know, they've already done this complaining and now she's just doing it again. So I think they're either setting it, her up for a brutal death or maybe she turns into like a loved character and like helps get answers. I don't know, but I think she's gonna die. That's what I think so. And when I reacted to this, I was super pissed off because she just, I'm not built like that. Or, you know, she just like on a power trip. I just, I couldn't stand it. I I'm sorry if you guys enjoy the storyline. I did not enjoy the storyline at all. And I can't believe she got that much screen time. But yeah, this is the main storyline I did not enjoy in this episode at all i want to make it clear i did not enjoy this app uh, the, this storyline okay did not enjoy it three questions three questions to one answer so far like the biggest cliffhanger we've had one of the biggest cliffhangers we've had in this in this season so far was tabitha saying i had a dream about this place okay it was last episode and then we get to this episode and nothing happens with the story all she does is tell jim that she's had the nightmare they visit the location she says she's hid, hid behind this rock and jade says well if fate is real you were going to end up here regardless that's all that happened with the storyline and i was really disappointed with that i'm not going to lie i feel like when you have that big of a cliffhanger with that big of a storyline we got to get a little more we got to get a little more the next episode in my opinion but hey like I said, I can't really judge the writing right now because we haven't seen the next three episodes. Maybe in the next three episodes, I watch them and I come back to this. And I'm like, oh my God, this episode was amazing. Season three, episode seven was amazing. But yeah, I was really disappointed that we get we did not get more answers with the storyline. That's three questions to one answer so far, okay? Three questions to one answer. Four questions to one answer. I love the Julian Randall dynamic. I think it's a cute friendship, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's awesome. You know, I'm glad I'm genuinely glad we're seeing them two on screen and having this this walk and, and Randall teaching how to drive and all this stuff. But now we're getting to another question with only one answer. I'm not trying to be th th that, that, that guy. I'm not trying to be that guy. But I'm being that guy right now. I know I am. We need answers. I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're three episodes away from the finale. We need answers. So hopefully it happens in the next three episodes. But right here, you know, Julie goes up to this mysterious arc thing. She's like, do you feel that? And Randall's like, we need to leave. She's like, you do feel that. And he's just like, we need to leave. But they both felt it when they went to this. So that's another that's another question. It's an exciting question. Don't get me wrong. I think this storyline is very interesting. What is around there? What, what, you know, what's over here? So I, I really did like the, the, the question and in the, in the storyline here, but it just, it, it confuses me how there's just more and more questions piling up when we just gotten, you know, a, li a few answers. I, I'm just, I'm so curious. I'm not saying it's bad, guys. I, 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 I will watch any single from episode. I love this show so much. It's already top three all time for me. Top three. I've watched over a hundred shows. So I'm not saying it's bad at all. I'm just saying, I'm very curious to see how they're gonna answer all of these questions in just three episodes. Cause there's a lot of questions right now. And this is just another one, but I did like the story in this friendship. Uh, I think it's unexpected. I did not expect them to be together. So, or, you know, to even walk or just talk or anything and be friends. I did not expect that, but here we are. And uh, that's season three, episode seven of From. Overall, I did think it was one of the worst episodes of the season. But to be fair, I enjoyed most of the episodes this season so far. This just put the nail in the coffin for me getting on the side of we need answers. I, I know, I know that that's, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like being really rude to the writers and everything. Like I, I'm very aware of that, but so we're seven episodes into this thing. Like I'm not trying to be mean or rude or disrespectful or anything, but we do need answers at some point. And I, I, I'm even more excited for season three, episode eight, because I'm expecting answers then. But I was, I felt the same way in season three, episode six. So <laughs> what am I, what am I going to feel a different way, you know, when, for the next episode, but you know, either way, 
I did think the Fatima storyline was good. The Jasper storyline's picking up, all that stuff. Like the Elgin storyline, that's a brand new, that's awesome. Not brand new, but you know, that's like continuing to, continuing to get even more escalated. The Julian Randall, uh, Acosta, like what's gonna happen with her. Kenny got some scenes today. I really like seeing that. Finally, Kenny getting, getting some scenes. I didn't mind this episode, but I, I do think it's one of the lower episodes of the season so far. But overall, you know, I will probably, I will most probably have a different judgment of this season after I watch the full season. You know what I'm saying? Because of this episode, I mean, after I watch the full season, because I could just go back and say, okay, in season set, season three, episode seven, they set, they set all this up. This happened, this foreshadowed this, you know, it, it, maybe it'll all connect. And then I'm just, you know, I'm the doofus over here complaining. So that's what I hope happens. That's what I think will happen. We'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed this video, be, video be sure to drop like, subscribe, turn up notifications, join my Discord down below where we have over 1,100 members now, which is awesome. We talk from Stranger Things and other TV shows all, all day, every day. And I appreciate you guys. Make sure you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.